We were built in 2005 and dedicated by Julie Gerberding of the CDC. We were designed originally to protect against agents of bioterrorism, like we weaponized Ebola, weaponized plague, smallpox, and we are geared up for that. Those are probably the worst diseases we'd see. But there's always something new, like SARS or avian flu, something that's got a high mortality rate. It's absolutely a team sport because the military, the fire service has the two is one, one is none concept. Same deal here. We are really lucky to have a resource in this uh, hospital and in our community uh, that will help protect us. Our biocontainment unit at uh, the Nebraska Medical Center uh, will help protect us against a variety of infections. And really, there are two parts of what you need to protect. Uh, yourselves and your employees, your health healthcare workers, against a severe infection. First of all, you need a special unit like this one, that has special airflow, seamless joints, uh, pass through autoclave, a high security entrance, and so forth. And then you need employees, and we have very well trained, experienced employees that uh, go through hours and hours of extra training on how to put on this special gear. So you have a nice facility, but you'll see when, when people are walking around when we're activated or doing a drill, they have the, what we call the space suits, the complete containment suits with special breathing apparatus. And that these are hot and they're heavy and they take some experience to work with. So we need the protection from both sides. We have a lot of people that come here from the state, from the region, the military has come here. Uh, and they are interested in what we're doing. So I think the hospital is really at the cutting edge and helping to protect our nation against either a naturally occurring infection or a possible bioterrorist event.